Kristen. Welcome to Camp Galileo Anywhere. Today we're reading Journey by Aaron Becker. And Journey is a really cool book because it doesn't actually have any words, but it has a really cool message about collaboration. Um, and I can't wait to share it with you. So the story begins and you see the little girl sitting on her front porch with the red scooter. It looks like her grown-up, or maybe her mom, is talking on the phone and cooking, and there's her red scooter. Looks like her dad, or grown-up, is doing work on the computer, and there's her red kite. And it looks like another grown-up in her life, maybe a big sister, is playing a video game. And there she is with the red ball. So, she goes to her room, and she's all alone. But she sees a red marker. She picks up that red marker and she draws something. What is she drawing? She's drawing a door. A door to another place. Look, there's beautiful lights in the trees and a river flowing. And she comes to an edge of a dock and she leans into the water and draws a line and draws a little red boat that sets sail. She sets sail to this beautiful kingdom. She makes her way through canals off waterfalls where she falls and in the air draws a hot air balloon when she soars off into the sky where she sees a flying ship with a beautiful bird flying in the air and she flies up to the ship onto the ship and climbs up to where the beautiful purple bird is put in a golden cage. And she steals the bird and sets the bird free. The guards try to take her and her red crayon gets dropped and she gets locked in a cage. purple bird comes to her and brings her her red marker and the bird and her draw a magic carpet. They fly through the sky. Where they come to a tree with a door in it. And they open the door. First the bird flies in, and then the little girl crawls in. Where they find a boy with a purple marker welcoming the bird. The girl meets the bird. They both draw circles and ride off on a journey together. The end. We really enjoyed reading that book with you. Join us next time.